Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Maths. Okay, let's have a look at our AFL for today. So here you go, at the top of your sheets, you have this box and it has a number line in it and it has a number, uh, a letter A here. And what I would like to know is, what's the previous multiple of 10 if I'm stood at A? What's the previous multiple of 10? Again, it's an AFL. Don't panic if you're not sure. Have a go. When you're ready to um, find out about the AFL, then um, pause the video. OK, so the first thing I want to think about today is this word here, previous, because if I don't know what that means, I'm going to find it really, really tricky. I also need to know what this means, multiple of 10. So let's have a look. So here's some pictures that you might recognise, and these are some of the um, things that we do in the day. So we start every day with our reading, then we go on to literacy, then we have worship, and then we have break. And that's our sequence of lessons for the day. So if I have done, if I'm doing literacy, so I'm, I'm here, doing literacy here. I've got these two words up here. I've got previous and I've got next. So this is my journey of the day. So this one means what am I going to do next? What's coming up? Well, if I'm walking through my day, and here I am in literacy, I'm walking along, I'm going to get to worship. So worship is next. Now the previous means what was before. So what was before literacy? Well, look, I'm gonna turn around backwards and have a look. I'm gonna have a think about what I've just done. I've just done reading. So I did reading previously, I'm doing literacy, and next there will be collective worship. What about if I now am here? Have a think, what am I going to be doing next? Next, I'm going to be doing playtime. What was previous to collective worship? What did I do previously? I've just done literacy. So literacy was previous. So previous means before. Next, we need to think about the other thing that I highlighted in the AFL, which was multiples of 10. And we know where our multiples of 10 are on our 100 square. They are down this side. What do we know about them? They all have a zero in the ones column and they go up by tens or chocolate bars in the tens column. One chocolate bar, two chocolate bars, three chocolate bars, four chocolate bars, and no little bits of chocolate. If we're counting in tens, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we can do this with our hands as we do it to remind us of the pattern that they make on the 100 square. So let's have a look back now at the AFL. What was the previous mul multiple of 10? Well, here I am, I'm here, A. And let's just check what I've got here. Oh, I've got 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So imagine I'm running a race from zero all the way up to 100. If I'm here, which multiple of 10 have I just run past? Well, let's have a look, I'm here. I know the numbers are going this way, just like when we read a book on this number line. Depends on the number lines. Some might go down, some might go up. But on this one, I'm going across. So I know that the one that I've just gone past previously was this one here. I know this was my previous multiple of 10. So which is going to be my next multiple of 10? It's going to be 70. I'm not there yet. I'm nearly there. I've got my six tens, my six chocolate bars, and I've got a few little ones, pieces of ones, but I, I'm not quite at 70 yet. So the previous multiple of 10 was 60. So we're going to be thinking about our tens today. And we know that if we are adding 10 each time, that those tens numbers are going to go up, our chocolate bars are going to go up each time time and we know that if we go backwards we're going to lose a chocolate bar if we're counting back in 10 so 30 plus 10 is 40 40 take away 10 is 30. let's have a look now at this number line to 10 
and it's actually this part here. Okay, we all know our numbers to 10. We are really, really good with our numbers to 10. So we are having a look at what we're counting in. We're counting in ones here. But if we look down here, we are missing some of the numbers. We've only got zero and we've only got 10. But actually, I know each of those lines means one. So I can count one. Two, just like here, look, one, two, three, four, that slightly darker one is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten has the number written on it. And we know that with maths, that a lot of it is to do with patterns. And this pattern of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, multiple of 10 continues all the way to 100. So it doesn't matter where I start. I'm going to start here at 20. So here's my 20 and I'm going to go two chocolate bars, one piece of chocolate, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 and then I'm full up so I'm going to swap that for another chocolate bar and that becomes 30. So today there's another thing that we're going to have to know and that is the word between. So here I am, I'm here. I am between 10 and 20. So I'm not at 10, I'm not at 20. Because remember today, we're thinking about our multiples of 10. And that's why they're showing on the number line. And if we want to um, know which one's previous and next, we have a look at which ones we are between. So here I can see that the previous multiple of 10 was 10. The next multiple of 10 is 20. And I'm between 10 and 20. Let's have a look at another one. I'm going to go here. So I can see that I am between 60 and 70. Those are the two numbers that I'm in the middle of. I'm not quite in the middle, am I? Because I'm a little bit closer to 60 than I am to 70. But I'm between 60 and 70. My next multiple of 10 is going to be 70. And my previous multiple of 10 is 60. So this is what your worksheets look like today. You have a number line with your multiples of 10 on it. And you have then got some gaps to fill in with your sentences. So it says A is between and, so you've got to look at the two multiples of 10 that it's between. And then I want to know the previous multiple of 10. So it's the written in um, red with the, the previous and the next multiple of 10. Now I'm going to change actually where I've put A because we've just done that one. <laughs> so here's my A now. You might have different um, letters. So it might be A, B, C, D, E. So you've got to look carefully, make sure you've got the right letter. So this one's talking about A and I can see it's between 90 and 100. Now, which one's the previous? Well, if I'm thinking about running a race all the way up here, he's just gone past 90. So 90 is the previous multiple of 10, and he's not quite there, but I'm going to get there. It's going to be 100 is the next multiple of 10. A is between 90 and 100. 90 is the previous multiple of 10. 100 is the next multiple of 10. Let's have a look at this one. Here's A. Oh. I'm going to circle that one and I'm going to circle that one. And that will help me. A is between 30 and 40. Which one's the previous? Oh, this one's the previous. 30 is the previous multiple of 10. 40 is the next multiple of 10. And I've got another one here. 40, 50. A is between 40 and 50. 40 is the previous multiple of 10 and 50 is the next multiple of 10. 
Brilliant. So today we're going to be looking to see if you understand the order of numbers to 100. And you've got to be able to understand the vocabulary previous and next. Don't worry about multiple. I know that the ones build up to make another set of 10. And also we're looking to see, can you identify the previous and next multiple of 10? Oh, we are thinking about multiples because we're thinking about our multiples of 10. OK, so if you're in strawberries, you have a number line and you have your, your letter and you have um, a number line for each letter that you're going to be telling me about. OK, if you are in peaches, oranges or melons, you've got one number line at the top and you can see it's got A, B, C, D, E. So here you've got to tell me about A. Here you've got to tell me about B. Here, you've got to tell me about C. Here, you've got to tell me about D. And here, you've got to tell me about E. If you're in Kiwis, you've got a couple of those examples to do at the top of your sheet. And then I've set you a, a couple of problems here to have a think about. So I've got some numbers up here and it says, which of these numbers has a ones digit, which is larger than the two, tens digit? So you have to work that one out. And then this one, which of these numbers has two digits which add up to 10? And then here, I want you to mark on all the numbers which have the same one digit and tens digit. And then I want you to mark this number on a number line. And I've given you some clues here. It's bigger than 20. It's smaller than 30. The ones digit is odd and the two digits add up to three. Have fun with those, completing those today. All the answers are on the sway. Now then, if you finish that really quickly, because you get a really good understanding today of previous, next and between, what I'd like you to do, please, is make sure you go on to hit the button, number bonds, make sure you know those bonds of 10. You are going to need them so much. I know I speak about this all the time. You're going to need them for maths tomorrow. Make sure you learn them. Go play on that game until you know them. OK, if you're really good at your, your bonds of 10 already, have a go at either um, bonds of 100, bonds of 20. If you're good at those, get onto doubles and play the doubles games. They're all there on hit the bot button. OK, have fun and um, I will see you tomorrow.